As you all can see, I am not on the plane to London right now. They have delayed our flight until 8 p.m. tonight. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Julia, a Dallas-based flight attendant. I am super excited for my trip today. I got called this morning for London. It's not very often that you get called from home reserve for these big international trips, so I am just feeling really lucky. I have a 26-hour layover and I am ready to go. If you've been following my channel for a while, then you would know that I have gone to London before. I went once last year, so this will be my second time going. I've already received a lot of recommendations from you all on Instagram about things that I should go do. And now I have exactly one hour before I need to be at the airport for my sign-in. So I will talk to you guys later. Just got to the airport and I'm here plenty early for my sign-in. So now I'm going to take the Skylink over to the D-Gates. That's usually where all of our international flights go out of at DFW. And then we will be on our way to London. Please do not block the door. Allow people to exit. I just boarded our beautiful 777 aircraft and we are going to do our safety checks and make sure everything is set up well and then head off to London. We were feeling high and I got drunk for the first time. So clearly, as you all can see, I am not on the plane to London right now. I am sitting with some of my crew members. This is Maddie and Kimberly and Bailey. <laughs> we are delayed because they could not get the one R. It was the one R door, correct? They could not get the one R door open for catering to bring food on the plane. And there are obviously other doors that they can use, but in the event of an evacuation, we need all of the doors to be able to open. So they have delayed our flight until 8 p.m. tonight. So it is a pretty lengthy delay, but we are all hoping that we can still go. So good news, as you can see, we have boarded a new aircraft. It is currently at 6.45 p.m. However, as crew, you are only legally allowed to work a certain amount of hours per day. And so for us to be legal as a crew, we have to have the door closed and start to push back from the gate by 8.55 p.m. However, and I did not know this, but if we do not leave by 8.15 p.m., our flight will cancel. And that is because we will no longer have clearance from London Heathrow to land at that airport. The airlines, especially for international flights, buy airspace. So by the time that we would take off and land, we would be in someone else's airspace slot or something like that. I have never heard of this personally. And I think I might have mentioned earlier that our first officer did go illegal, but if I didn't, now you all know our first officer did time out. Our new first officer is on his way. However, he is not scheduled to be here until right before eight o'clock. So we are really cutting it down to the wire. Hopefully we go, I really don't want to cancel. This is a pretty lengthy delay and I feel awful for the passengers. I really hope that we are able to go and we don't have to cancel, but we'll see. Finally made it to London 15 hours after I originally signed in at the airport. I signed in at the airport at 2.30 p.m. and it is now 11.30 a.m. here in London, which means it is 5.30 a.m. Dallas time. Wow, oh my gosh, what a flight that was. I can't believe we actually went. We were so close as a crew to going illegal. I can't even believe that we actually made it here. Normally on an awesome layover like this, I would wanna just hit the ground running and go sightseeing as much as possible, but I have already had a layover here in London where I did get to do a lot of touristy things. So I think for this layover, I'm gonna keep it more low key. Some of my crew members are meeting up downstairs and they're gonna go shopping and maybe go get some tea and grab dinner so I think I'm going to hang out with them. I have a cute little room. Here is the bathroom. There's a little mirror right here. 
Here's the bed, and let's check out the view. Really pretty view of the city. So we were supposed to be to our hotels by around 7 or 8 a.m. this morning, and it is now 2 p.m. As a crew, everyone was awesome. We were in really high spirits, and we're just really positive the whole time, so that really made like a big difference. And now I'm just going to enjoy the layover that I do have here. I am about ready to go, and I'm sorry this lighting kind of sucks, but I am wearing actually one of Eric's sweaters with leggings and tennis shoes because it's pretty cold out, so I will probably bring my big black fluffy jacket as well so I am with some of my crew members and we actually picked up Katie what? who came from a different flight from Dallas and we are heading to tea and I guess that is something that you come do in London I have never had tea while I'm here so I think that'll tea. be fun hi tea okay that's what it is don't forget your first kiss we were so damn high we could touch the sky drunk on love We are walking the streets right now, heading to high tea, and it is very vacant. There is no one out right now. I don't know if it's because it's Sunday, but it's actually really nice because we are some of the only people out. So the first tea place we went to, you needed to have a reservation at which obviously we didn't. And so now we are heading to the tube and we are gonna go to this area called Soho, which they're telling me is just like a cute little neighborhood. So I'm excited to go explore down there. Also, this will be my first time going on the London tube. So I think that is pretty cool. walking along Oxford Street and they have these angel light displays in the middle of the street that are so beautiful. We are going to try some of this tea and they look like little shot glasses. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Salud. Yeah, it doesn't really taste like anything. <laughs> We just put our names down for a restaurant called Dishoom. It's an Indian restaurant here on Carnaby Street and it's about an hour wait so in the meantime we're gonna go shopping. We found the funkiest little shoe store. It is so cute. We are in Monkey, which is Katie's favorite store here in London. <laughs> So these are the vegetable samosas and it's vegetables basically inside fried dough. So we have potatoes right here, pineapple tikka right here, some garlic naan and rice and we're all gonna split it. We just finished dinner at the Indian restaurant Dishoom. If you like Indian food, I highly suggest going there because I am not usually a fan of Indian food and I loved the food at this restaurant. I 
am back in my hotel room now. I just had so much fun walking around the city with Maddie and Katie, but I am exhausted. It is only 6.30 p.m. here, but I have been up for way too many hours. So let me just tell you guys a little bit about how this trip happened. This is my reserve month, which means the company basically decides where I fly to and they call me when they need me. So I was on the call shift from 2 a.m. until 2 p.m. And so obviously like you can sleep and I just keep my phone on loud with the volume all the way turned up and sleep with it next to me. I saw that this London trip was an open time so I requested it and I got it. But I didn't know that I got it until crew scheduling called me at seven in the morning. I wake up, I answer the phone call and they give me this trip and then I fall back asleep till about 10. And then I get to the airport at 2.30 for my sign in time and then the flight is delayed until 8.45 p.m. And then we work that flight. It was eight and a half hours, I'm pretty sure, or it was like 8.45, something around there. And I did have a sleep break on this flight. I had a little over two hours, so I tried to sleep, but it was kind of hard because there was turbulence. The really good news is though, on my flight tomorrow, I am deadheading. Technically, I am a working crew member because I have to get from London back to base, which is Dallas, but I am not physically working the flight. I get to fly as a passenger, and when we deadhead, we are allowed to sleep. So I am super excited to be deadheading on my flight tomorrow and I am actually going to take an earlier flight out tomorrow than I was originally scheduled for. So the flight I was originally scheduled for is at 9.55 a.m. and there's a flight at 7.30 a.m. So I'm going to take that one just because I can get home a few hours earlier and that flight has more open seats. So if I take the flight that has more open seats, I am much more likely to get a first class or business class seat as opposed to the flight at 9.55 a.m. which I've already looked at and it looks very full and it might even oversell. If I were to take that flight, more than likely I would be stuck in a middle seat in the back of the airplane, which not that that's a bad thing. Like I'm so grateful obviously to have a seat and to be able to get back home, but if I have any control over it, obviously I'm gonna try and take the earlier flight with better seats. I am almost done packing up my room. Good morning everyone, it is just now 4.40 a.m. Our pickup is in 10 minutes, so I need to be downstairs. I slept about six hours and I knocked out last night. I was so tired. I really hope that I am able to sleep on my deadhead flight home back to Dallas. We are at Cafe Nero. It's just a little coffee shop in the London Heathrow Airport. And I got this green fruit smoothie. It has kiwi, lime, matcha, cucumber, and flax seeds and all these vitamins. It is seriously so good. It is the best green smoothie I think I've ever had. It is so sweet. I'm waiting in the gate area for our flight and you guys, all of us crew members got business class. This is absolutely amazing. I am so excited. This is my first time flying business class on a long haul international flight. So I have my pillow and blanket right here and these seats are really cool. They're able to recline all the way out so I can lay down. There's the remote right here which will control this TV right here. If you push this little button right here, it sends the TV out. So that way when I'm sitting down and laying down, I'm able to watch TV. I can recline the seat all the way out and I have all of this space for my stuff as well. And there's a little amenity kit has a really large tray table that pulls out right there. So great, there we have some mouthwash, a little toothbrush, some toothpaste, a pen which always comes in handy, an eye mask. I will definitely be using this on the flight today, as well as some socks. And then what is in here? Oh, and then there are some earplugs. The amenity kit also has some chapstick and hand lotion, which is great because my skin and lips get so dry on long flights like this. We also have some really nice headphones that you don't get to keep, obviously, but you do get to use during the flight. So I'm super excited for these. Mm -hmm. 